Greetings of peace people. This is yours truly Bionic Ansang Francis Coleman and I welcome you again for another game analysis upload in my YouTube channel. So I play Final Fantasy VIII Remastered in 2022 because I really wanted to upload my complete gameplay commentary of this awesome game so I could share it with all the Final Fantasy lovers out there. I have finished this game on 4 separate occasions back then in 2000 on the PS1, back in 2015 on the PlayStation 3 when I downloaded it on the PlayStation Network, and during the lockdown back then in 2020 when I started my journey to become a trophy hunter achieving the platinum in just one week. However, when I started my YouTube channel to upload the games that I finished trophy hunting, I really wanted to record my gameplay of Final Fantasy VIII Remastered even if I have to finish it again from the start because I really like to share my comments of this game with all of you. Moreover, since I uploaded a video game analysis debunking the Squall is Dead jury, I wanted to replay the whole game again with the purpose of ensuring that the said jury had no basis within the in-game materials of FF8. In addition, I realized that there is a lot of hate from the avid Final Fantasy fans on this game for a lot of reasons so I would like to take this opportunity to counter some of the hate from this game because it is really that damn good folks. One of the strongest points of this game is the draw and junction system. The other Final Fantasy games rely on the level up grind to increase the overall strength of the characters which requires a lot of hours at defeating monsters. In Final Fantasy VIII, the draw system really helps to hasten the process of improving the overall strength of the characters as the magic is junction to the attributes of health points, strength, magic, vitality, spirit, evasion, speed, and luck. This will really enable the character to have an health points of about 5,000 just by junctioning Kyuraga magic to a character even though he is still on his level 20s. That happened to my gameplay whilst Cell, Squall, and Irvine face Idea at the end of this 2. This is one of the positive things that the junction system offers since it spares the players from grinding too much before pushing forward with the story. Speaking of leveling up, the level system of FF8 is not really difficult at all because the character can easily level up by fighting some of the monsters in islands closest to heaven and islands closest to hell in this tree. Moreover, a simple status attack junction of the magic death can really fast track a lot of powerful monsters. Hence in my gameplay, Squall, Zell and Irvine are all level 100 before I went to get Bahamut and Eden in the Deep Sea Research Center in this tree. Another strong point of this game for me is the story. I read a lot of complaints about how confusing was the story of this game, but I believe that it was executed perfectly. The characters were given tasks with a mission because of their office, and that task never changed from this one to this four of the game as the same kind of enemy is the target of the characters. Moreover, controlling Laguna, Heroes, and Ward added depth to the story, telling of this game, and helped explain a lot of things wider past were being presented to the main characters. Overall, the story and the way it was presented was decent enough to be understood unlike Final Fantasy XV which to this day, I have no idea what was Noct is fighting for. Finally, it bears to stress that the music as well as the ambience of this game are fantastic enough that it can be still played in today's console and that the player would enjoy it just because of the music and the ambience. From the feeling of roaming around Balam Garden to interact with the students, to visiting relaxing cities like Balam, Dole, Dayling, Estar, and Fisherman's Horizon, the good and relaxing experience will rival that of what the current RPGs offer. Overall, folks, this is still a must-play RPG in 2022, and I'd 
advise all of you to play it because it is really awesome. Well, that's it for today's game analysis. If you like what you watch, folks, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bionic Angtseng, and hit that notification bell so you will be updated to my latest game analysis, live stream, trailer reactions, and game uploads to those games that I've been playing for trophy hunting. Thank you everyone, God bless you all, and stay safe out there folks.